I welcome you today for our glutes and core training with me. I hope you are as excited as I am. Uh, for today's workout, as you've seen, we're gonna need a mat, have a chair, you'll need a chair as well, a resistance band and uh, weights. You can have either two dumbbells or one, it's up to you, so you choose how you want. Um, and I hope you are ready to get started. We'll start from the uh, a little warm up as regular, and we're gonna move on on to the, the glutes and abs training. And at the end, we'll do a bit of a stretching as always. You can turn on your watches if you're tracking. Uh, always have the water with you. Uh, don't forget to drink it in between the sets and. Um, I, just a reminder, as always, take the rest whenever you need and um, if you feel the reps are too high for you, you can always do less, so that's not a problem, okay? I hope you're excited and ready to get on to the other workout together, okay? So we'll start from a simple warm-up, so let's roll our hips to each side, slowly rolling, roll in, warm up our hips a little bit, they might be a bit stiff from too much sitting as we all do now, let's change sides, that's one of the uh, body parts which we don't stretch a lot and it tends to suffer from that. Okay, let's roll in. Since we're gonna do all of the exercises focused on our glutes and uh, it will be a bit of a, uh, for the quads as well, we want the hips to be warmed up as well as the glutes, okay? Let's roll around a little bit. This one is super great if you want to do in between your work or studying time. So just stand up and roll a little bit to each side. If you go back to school times when you used to do it. But um, hips uh, is one of the surgeries we do when we get older. Uh, simply because it's not moving enough. And we don't want this to happen for us, right? So let's roll to each side. Let's form up our upper body and lower body a little bit more. Here, we rotate our hips as well and we lift um, our legs as well. Like we would try to reach to each side. Perfect. Let's open and push up. Open and push up. There's different joint actions involved here. All our body is working. We're not gonna use that much upper body, but still it needs to be warmed up. Maybe you just woke up and you decided to hit the workout or maybe it's evening and your body is a bit stressed. So we move a little bit. Okay, perfect. Let's go into sumo squat. But we're not gonna squat here, we just try to reach the floor as much as we can. And let's keep changing sides. We feel the tension a little bit in our inner tights. Could be a glutes a little bit. Yeah, you might feel the most in your inner tights. I can feel it for myself. Okay, perfect. Great. We'll do a bit of a lunges back and we'll raise our hands. Remember how to do it? And keep changing sides, okay? One side, another. I know I said it's a warm up but it's still the workout to raise our core temperature. 
So prepare our body for what is coming. Great. Very good. Perfect. Let's, I'm gonna move my chair. Let's go into the high plank first. Just lower ourselves. Stretch a bit. If you feel the tension already in your hamstrings, I know. Let's stand. Mat size wide. Again, lower yourself. Try to touch the floor. You may not be able to the first time, no problem. We'll do this next time. It's all about stretching. So now we squat deep and raise our hands. Perfect. Lower yourself, touch the floor. And again. Slowly. We feel our hamstrings stretching here. Starting to be a bit challenging, yeah? Now you might feel that you're able to touch your floor a bit better, okay? So now let's walk into the plank. High plank, holding in plank, going into downwards looking dog. Come back and walk back. Stand up. Perfect. We feel a little bit better, yeah? Okay? Let's do 10 jumping jacks. Let's raise our heartbeat a bit more. So our body now knows that we are getting ready for the workout. Perfect, very good. Yes, okay, let's run in place. We can run to the front a little bit, to the back, so it would not be that boring to run in place. We're nearly ready to start with the first part of the workout. I hope you're ready. Perfect. We're gonna go down onto the mat. Our first exercise is gonna be body weight, second one as well. And then we're gonna add the resistant bands and the weights by the end. Okay? So the very first one, we're gonna go into the low plank. We lower one leg to the, on the mat, and other one we're gonna raise up. And we're just gonna do a little, little pumps here, and then we're gonna change sides, and then we'll do another one, and then we're gonna rest, okay? So 12 times each side. You ready? Quarter side as always. And let's go, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Put the knee down. Raise left leg and we pump another 12 times. And 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, perfect, go up, let's rest and we'll do similar one, we'll fire up our glutes a bit and we're gonna do rainbow leg raises, it's the same, just we're gonna raise it, go right and left and keep changing 12 times, change the legs and we'll do another one, okay? Let's go again onto our elbows. Lift left, uh, right leg. And we're gonna lift to the right, lift to the left. Okay? You ready? Simple as that. We'll feel the glutes burning. Okay? And 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Let's 
Change legs. Left leg goes up. And let's go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Perfect. Okay. I hope your glutes are feeling that it's kind of started working. And we're going to add resistant bands this time. And we're going to go into donkey kicks. By now, I think we all know what is that and we know how to do it. So we're going to do one side and another side. Here, depends on what kind of um, resistant band you have. If you have a very thick one and strong, it goes uh, above your knees. If you have a smaller one, it goes below because it's easier to hold it. Whereas the, the big ones, they're not gonna um, move as much as the little ones, okay? If this is too challenging with the resistance band, do simply the body weight. It still works, okay? I hope you're ready and we go down onto our elbows. And we're gonna kick 12 times each side. You ready? 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, keep breathing, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Perfect. Let's change sides. And we're getting onto another 12. You ready? 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Perfect. Get up. Let's rest. We'll do one more time. These are the super amazing exercises to fire up and um, activate the glutes. When the glutes are activated and we add the weights after, you will feel how much the glutes muscle is expanding. So it's super, super great to add. Okay, let's get onto them. Second reps, okay, you ready? Uh, 12 more and 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Perfect. Let's change sides. Left glute is ready. And let's go. 12, 11. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great. Left stress and we're going to go into fire hydrants. For the abduction, there's no need a huge breaks in between. We keep breathing, doing it slowly. We start feeling a bit of a tension and then we do a bit um, longer breaks when we add the weights, okay? Again, we're going on to elbows and we're gonna go to sides. Slowly going to sides, okay? At first, you may not feel anything. After, you will definitely feel it. Okay, 12, you ready? And 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Perfect. Let's change sides. And 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
make sure when you go down your back is not arching too much and your 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 chin is up so you're looking straight means your core is tightened and it's not loose and you're not um, swinging on our chair we are in control of our body okay 12 times so you ready let's go and 12 up pull apart go down 12 perfect let's go 11 10 9 8 can you do a bit faster 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 Okay, you can sit down a bit on the floor Let's rest and now you can stay with the resistant band if you want or you can add the dumbbells as well, it's, it's up to you. If you have a small dumbbell but you have a resistant band, you can keep it for the tension. That means it will be a bit harder for you. If you find that your um, hips are sore from holding the weight, put anything uh, on, on it. Uh, it could be a pillow, um, a, a towel, whatever you have. Whatever you have, so as long as it doesn't cause you pain, okay? So we're going to do the same with the dumbbell this time. So we're going to go down 12 times, hold, and again go. So we're going to keep the tension on our glutes here, okay? So we're going. Again, lower back is on a chair and chin is up, looking front, back is straight. And we're going to lower for 12 times. You ready? And... 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, lower and hold. We hold now. Keep breathing, glutes are super tight. You ready for another 12? And 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Go down. We can rest. We're gonna still need a weight. We can move for a moment the chair. We'll need for one more time. Now let's change positions a little bit and we're gonna do curtsy lunges. These ones are super great. Again, fully focused on our glutes. Now after the hip thrust and abduction, you should feel a huge tension in your glutes. So we're ready for a few more exercises for it, yes? Okay, do you remember how to do the curtsy lunges? So we go to the sides. So we lunge to the side and stand up. You can do with the body weight if you want. 
So we lunge and stand up. Make sure when you lunge, it's not too far, you're straight and you only feel the tension in the glute. You'll feel a little bit in a quad, but mostly on the glute. So we take one dumbbell, 12 sides each and we're gonna rest, okay? You ready my ladies? Let's go. And 12, up, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's change sides. You ready? And 12, up. 11, up, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, well done. Put the weight down. How are you feeling there? I'm so sad. I cannot see you here. So I don't know how you feel. But I'm always, always welcome to know after the workout how it was. Maybe it was too light this time or maybe it was too difficult. Uh, everyone is different. So everyone's opinion and feedback is always, always welcome. Okay? We'll do one more time. Yes, we'll do one more time, okay? I hope you're ready. If you're not, take a few more breaths. And we'll do one more time. Weight up to the chest level. And we squat back. Ready? And 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's change sides. And twelve, eleven, ten, nine. Keep breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, quarter tight, three, two, one. Perfect. Let's get water. Forget mine. Let's get water. And we'll do side, uh, side lunges. So how it looks like, it's more like a side squat, I would say. We're simply gonna go to the side, 12 times, change sides, we're gonna go to another one. Here, as always, you can do with the weight, without the weight, it's up to you, okay? We can start with the weight, when it gets too difficult, drop the weight, do the body weight. All of this works, okay? Everyone's fitness level is different, so you have to adjust to your own, okay? Sometimes I cannot keep up, I will stop, take a breath, and carry on, okay? Perfect. We take the weight. If you have two small ones, you can hold two if you want. Always you can hold like this, or you can hold like this. Or if you have just one in front of you, simple as that. And you squat to the side 12 times. You ready? And 12, 11, 10, 9, quarter is tight, back is straight. We keep breathing. 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, 
One. Perfect. Let's change sides. You ready? I'm nearly ready also. <laughs> okay, let's go. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Well done. Put it weight down. Let's catch the breath. Let's get water. Don't forget your water. Before, during, after workout, drink your water. Always. Sometimes you don't feel that we sweat too much, but our heartbeat is quite high and um, the calories we burn not through the sweat. The sweat is the water. We sweat out. So we have to get it back. Not to get uh, bloated, not to store enough water. And um, we burn the calories through, through our breathing. So heavy exercises, resistant training, a high intensity training, your heartbeat is high. You keep breathing. That's what I'm saying. Keep breathing. Deep breathing. That's how we burn the calories through the breathing, not through the sweat. Sweat is the water, which we have to get it back. Okay? Let's get on onto the one more round. Side squats. You ready? 12. And 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, perfect, let's change sides, and 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven. We're nearly there. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Very good. Very good. It was so, so difficult. I know. We keep breathing very deeply. See when you look into your watch. You can see, uh, in most of our watch, you can see the heartbeat. We don't, much, we don't really care about the calories burned because it's not very uh, reliable. I talked about that in different videos. But the heartbeat, we see how high, how low, how quickly it goes back to the lower and how quickly it raises back. So it, then we can see our strength and uh, how well or how much we need to improve on our heart that's the most important okay perfect we have the last exercise for our glutes we take the chair you choose resistant band or the weight and we're gonna do the last hip thrust we're gonna go 12 hip thrust hold hip thrust and we're gonna go onto the core okay you ready let's go Upper back goes onto the chair. Find your position, which is comfortable for you to do it. And we're gonna go down 12 times in 12, 11, 10. Keep looking straight. 9. Keep breathing. 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's hold. Hold for twelve. Keep breathing. Glutes 
are tight. Perfect. Let's go down and 12. Up. 11. Up. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Well done. Let's go down. Put the weight away. Let's grab the water if you want. And we're going to go on to the core exercises. We have five exercises for core. No break in repeat unless you want to. We keep the huge tension on our uh, core and that's all, okay? I hope you're ready. I hope you feel now your glutes even when you're walking, no matter what the weight you're using. Every week you can add up more weight, you'll see how strong you are becoming. Sometimes you may start only with the body weight, then add the resistance bands and you feel it's, it's uh, too light for you now and you add the weight and you see how much you can do and then you see the improvement. So it's not only physical but your overall strength is so important. Okay, we're gonna go into core exercises. So we're gonna start from the mountain climbers. Then, what do I have here for you? Yes, mountain climbers, side to side dips. Then we're gonna go onto the back and we're gonna do side twists. I'll show you how to do that. Um, then we're gonna raise our legs one by one. And we're gonna do sit up with the leg raises. And that's us, okay? So I hope you all know how to do the uh, mountain climbers, if it's too heavy, just hold in the high plank, okay? So we again, we can walk ourselves into the high plank. If you want to stay here, fine, stay here. If you want to add the mountain climbers, we slowly gonna do 20, okay? You ready? Slowly, no rush. We feel core working. And one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. We can stretch a little bit our back. And we're gonna go into the side dips. Here. We go onto our elbows and we go into one side and another side. You ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Perfect. Let's stretch. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Okay, we're going on to our back. Here, we're making sure that we are straight. We're on our elbow. So, we're gonna, from this position, we're going up and into the, again, straight line. So from straight line, we're twisting ourselves and going like this, okay? We feel our side um, waist working and this is a challenge for your all body stability, okay? We're gonna do 10, you may only make Try to two or five, absolutely fine. It's a challenge for us, okay? Let's go. And 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, keep going, 7, 8, 9, 10, I just realized I counted 1 to 5 and up, okay, no problem, we still done 10, okay, let's change sides, same position, straight line, 10 once, okay, we roll and go down, you find your position, how you feel the best to do it, and let's go, okay, and 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, we're nearly there, four, three, two, and one. Well done. That was a challenge, okay? Let's go on to our back. This will be a very easy one. Our arms and sides, chest is up, chin is up, and we go down. Simple, core is tight, okay? Let's go 20 times. And one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower yourself, hug your knees. Let's catch the breath. We have one more exercise left. Here, we're gonna go from full to up. Crunch and we lift our leg, okay? If you find it too difficult, only take one by one leg close to you, okay? one or another option if you if you're able to do full sit up and crunch it absolutely fine if you cannot do it now you, you might be able to do next week okay and let's go and one down up down three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. That was our last exercise. The hardest one. You feel your core on fire. Let's stretch ourselves fully. Pull the knee close to you, left leg goes close to the body, extend the right leg and pull towards yourself. You'll feel hamstring stretching a lot. Okay, so right goes onto left knee, hands goes inside and pull the legs towards your body. We feel the glutes stretching here a lot. Very good. Perfect. Lower the knees. We take the same knee, right knee or left, the one you had before, and we twist to the left. So goes to the left, Right hand goes to the right, 
we twist here and stretch our back, glutes, quad. Perfect, come to the center, lower the leg, take your left leg close to the body. Right leg goes to your body closer, you extend your left leg and pull towards the body. As close as you can, you will feel stretch. Your leg might be shaking. If it's sh shaking, it means it's too hard. So uh, release a little bit, okay? You have to feel the tension. But if it's shaking too much, it means it's too heavy for you. Maybe the pressure is too heavy. So now the same leg goes onto the knee and pull it towards yourself. We feel the other glute stretching a lot here. Keep breathing. Perfect. Lower the left, right leg. Keep the left uh, leg close to you again. We feel stretch here. So now we take it to the right. To the right, the left, ha left hand goes to the left and we stretch again. Perfect. We come to the center. Let's try to push our hips up. We push up and we try to lower it back behind your body, okay? Try to reach the floor. If you cannot, you may have only hold the legs above your head. That's actually fine. Just try not to move your body. If it's too hard like this, you just hold the legs, extend it. Okay, and we're slowly going up. Okay, let's extend more of the back. Try to reach the toes. Perfect. Let's sit a bit wider. You take one leg close to the body and we're gonna go to the side as much as we can. Okay, let's go. So let's stretch the back, side. Let's take the right arm up and we extend to the left again. Perfect, let's change legs. Okay, and again, let's go to the side. Raise your left arm and go to the right side. Perfect, come back to the center. Let's breathe in and take the shoulder stretch to the front. It, it's up to you which side you start. Okay, let's change. Deep breathe again. Let's stretch our triceps behind your head. Change sides. Okay, let's put our palms behind the head and lower it down. Just lower it. Let's release the tension from our neck. We can breathe in again. Breathe out. Okay, I hope your heartbeat lowered a little bit. As I can see on mine, it did go down and 
then we are ready to get on with all our other work. So you have to clap for yourself for that you've done the workout. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in our next workout. Okay, have a nice day.